there guys, my name is Coach Shadong, the Born Bot Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. Now today, we're going to be talking about the reopening date that's been set by the Merlin theme parks, Alton Towers, Thorpe Park and Chessington. But today we're focusing mainly on Thorpe Park because we have some other news on a 2020 attraction being postponed. Now before we get started, please like the video if you've loved it, please comment down below, please subscribe to the channel, please click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you also comment down below, as well as your video suggestions and your comments on the video, your questions for our Q&A to celebrate 1,500 subs. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So this is all surrounding Thorpe Park, but there is also mentions of Alton Towers and Jessington. Now, you're probably, you're probably saying, why is there no comedy intro? Well, when there's a serious video, you know, it needs to be full serious, doesn't it? Um... However, we do have some news, and the news is the 4th of July 2020 is apparently the reopening date in terms of government guidelines for the Merlin theme park, so that's what they're kind of aiming towards. Uh, now, we do have an official statement from Thorpe Park. Uh, Alton Towers and Chessington have released a statement as well, uh, but this one, we're going to focus on Thorpe Park, because that is the whole main focus of this video. Uh, so let's have a look at the statement made by Thorpe Park. So they have officially said on their social media accounts, that in line with current government guidance, we are hoped we hope to be able to reopen Thorpe Park Resort on the 4th of July 2020. The health and safety of our guests and staff is always our number one priority, and to keep everyone safe, we'll be introducing a number of additional hygiene and safety measures which you'll see in place when you next visit. For more information on these measures, you can visit thorpepark.com slash about dash thorpe dash park slash coronavirus slash safety dot measures and I'll put that website link in the description down below. Please keep an eye on our website when we'll be updating with further information in the weeks ahead. We can't wait to welcome you back. Now my friends, that is not all. That is not all because their world's first live Black Mirror experience has been postponed until spring 2021. Now, for those of you who need a little bit of a reminder from the last video that we did on this, uh, Black Mirror Labyrinth uh, is a brand new live experience, walkthrough experience, uh, that's replacing the Walking Dead Living Nightmare horror attraction. Uh, and it's a Black Mirror themed walkthrough ma maze experience. Could be like a, maybe like a mirror maze or something like that. However, that has been announced to be postponed until spring 2021. So it will open, you know, around about this time next year. Uh, so for those of you who need a little bit of a reminder of the statement on this attraction and what we know about it, Get lost as you enter a hypnotic maze using cutting edge visual technology and sensory defying environments. Will you keep your grip on reality or will you use yourself in the mainframe as this unpredictable digitalized dimension reveals an uneasy truth that manipulates and displaces your very existence? So that is it from Thought Park in terms of the stats. Now my thoughts on it. 4th of July. Now 4th of July obviously that is the date they're working towards to try and reopen the theme park. Obviously, if you didn't see it already, Alton Towers are reopening the gardens this weekend. And Thought Park have actually re are actually going to reopen their car park as well. Now, they're not going to open the park, but they're going to reopen the car park for you to get some views. Uh, for the locals to get views of the, the rides from the car park. Just to get some you know action shots or whatever of the rides testing. So, I like how they're doing that. I like how they're opening the car park, which is quite a big space, so social distancing shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but the car park is a nice space to get some good angles. So, uh, if I was living in London, if I was living five minutes away, I'd be walking down to Thorpe Park this weekend to get some photos and some, <laughs> some footage. Uh, but, obviously nowhere near uh but it's good that thought park are giving the locals a chance to go into the car park and get the shots uh and then hopefully fourth of july will be the date that they reopen the park with the measures in place now we all obviously understand about alton towers measures and what they're going to do when they uh, reopen the theme park uh hopefully again fourth of july uh chessington you know again statement open to reopen by fourth of july in line with government guidance uh but Hopefully, we should get some news on their attraction. Now, Rainforest area for Chessington already opened during that uh, sort of preview day that they did in February. Uh, so, Rainforest should reopen with the rest of the park. I think it's the drop tower for 2021 they're going to be working towards now. Uh, so, I think that their investment shouldn't be a problem. But we know that uh, Alton Towers and Thorpe Park aren't adding anything new in 2021 because they're delaying Gangster Granny the Ride and the World David Williams, Alton Towers, and Thorpe Park now delaying the Black Mirror Lab. So all their plans they were going to do for 2021, then 2022, that's probably been pushed back another year. So um, it may 
maybe another year till we get that next coaster than we would have hoped. Uh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, next time they get a coaster, it will be worth the wait. Now, obviously, the Black Mirror Labyrinth, I've said my thoughts on it before. I think it's a it's an odd looking experience but i like the look of the attraction hopefully the technology works better than darren brown's ghost train is did in terms of reliability uh but i think it's a good attraction it's something new and it's something that, something different they're trying out so it will be worth the wait 2021 it will absolutely be worth the wait and it reassures my point from a previous video 2021 is going to be a massive year for theme parks with loads of 2020 projects delayed till 2021 and obviously the other new projects coming in 2021 with all these new coasters in Europe and America and all around the world. Uh, so there's a lot of projects in 2021 already and then the delayed 2020 projects being coming into 2021 as well. It makes 2021 a massive year for the parks so uh, I'm kind of glad now I didn't do those 2020 attractions for UK, Europe, Asia and America videos because they're not going to happen in 2020. They're going to happen in 2021 instead. Uh, so, yeah, about look at doing one for 2021. Uh, but from the looks of it, it's definitely going to be an exciting year. So, that is the news we have from Thought Park Resort and a little bit on the other parks as well, but mainly Thought Park today. Uh, so, like we said, Black Barrel Labyrinth, that'll open in spring 2021 and they're hoping to reopen Thought Park as well as the other Merlin parks by 4th of July. So, stay tuned on the websites for more information about some of the attractions that may not be open during that time. Uh, maybe some of the indoor attractions may be still closed. Uh, some of the coasters and some of the pathways will have one-way systems and the coasters will have some extra restrictions on. So hopefully Thought Park will uh, release them and I'll do a video on them. Same with Chessington. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this Theme Park News and Update. Please like, comment, subscribe. We're going to bring back those comedy entertaining intros for other videos soon. And for now, guys, keep living the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.